So Samoa in the lighter blue jerseys kicking off to the Scots in the green. The Scottish team that we know are comfortable putting the ball through the hands, going through the phases. Robbie Ferguson keeping it alive. So for Lauren, just taking it back midfield. Finally, the first breakdown. Samoan's not afraid of the breakdown. Tackle! Here, our referee give us a tackle complete, so the ball's got to be used. Referee not much to show so far. Tackle. Off the foot, play on. Referee says off the foot. Going backwards, no advantage. Coming back for a knock on. He's going to come back for the original knock on in the tackle. Yeah, Scotland just putting themselves through the phases, trying to find a little disconnect on that Samoan defensive line. Samoa being really well done, being disciplined, keeping their connection. Just an unfortunate little knock-on in that tackle. The Samoans, one of the younger sides on Coach. the circuit. Only 65 total World Series events Binds. to their group. But a very dangerous attacking yes. side. 23 tries for them in London. The Scots back themselves as well. And the crowd are having all sorts of fun off the play. Finally, Scotland looking to get out of their own half. Release. Not released. Lots of possession here for the Scots. Just Finish. lost forward by Ross McCannons, who's trying to step away out of the tackle. That's a good turnover. Coming back for the knock on. Unfortunate for the Scots there. They had momentum. They were on the front foot, shifting the ball side to side. Just an unfortunate little knock on there. Heat's playing a factor here in L.A. today. So who can stay focused on those little moments? Yeah, that's usually how it shows up. A little bit greasy ball from the sweat. Coach. Scotland, bind to the hooker. Bind nice to the McCann, hooker. the 24-year-old, want that one back. Bind. Set. Good shot of a seven scrum there. Simone's very, very strong, despite not being the biggest side out here. They go wide. Good pressure from Jamie Farndale. Well, neither side able to unlock the defenses almost three minutes into this. It took the lights of Maliko in their first game. Got two tries, could have had a hat trick and handed it off to his mate. Not on the ball, leave it. Matavao brought down. <laughs> now finally a kick, and the Samoans not afraid to kick. One of the highest users, along with the Argentinians, of the kicking tactic. But beautifully gathered by the Scots and good support, working hard to get back for each other. There's Harvey Elms going for a run. Tackle assist, not releasing. Samoa again not releasing. Great work from Scotland there. They just defended Scott so David. well against Samoa, kept their line, stayed connected, made their tackles, and gave them the only option, which was the kick, owning that possession. And Zach, the Scots have chosen a scrum. Why, why would they do that? What are the benefits in sevens to choose the scrum rather than the penalty? Well, you're tying up three players in the scrum automatically, and therefore you've got more space to manipulate that, those back line to players. Looks like they're going with a 2-1 a, a split, seeing Coach. how Scotland's going, or Samoa's going to defend this. Kind of the eye formation Fine. they're looking at here. They got options both sides. Set. Let's see if there's some movement early. Scrum goes down, but play on to the ref. They all go to the bottom of your screen. It doesn't really come off. Bobby Ferguson looking to unlock something. Now Harvey Elms puts the big left hand. Oh, Ferguson takes one in the chest. And it doesn't go to hand. Sione, beautiful offload from him. And it is Malika who finally gets there. Now Pedro Malika, the 23-year-old, gets Samoa's first try. Well done by Malika, showing his pace to finish that try. Great defense by Samoa, causing that, knock, uh, causing that ill pass that turned into this transition attack with a great try to start off this match for Samoa. You see the determination in this man's face. Saying, there's no way you're going to catch me, Jamie Farndale. I'm putting five points for my country. 
Yeah, Malika was outstanding in that first game, and you could see the passion. And Brian Lima, their coach, World Rugby Hall of Famer, just brought that back to this group. That kick hits the upright. Unfortunate on that kick. Points differential is going to be big in this pool. Nico's enjoying it here in Los Angeles. That kick does go 10. This time, Patty Kelly makes sure he doesn't throw a loose pass. That was the cause of the troubles on Maliko's last try. Minute and a half to go here in the first half. Smore with that slim five point lead. Sofa Lauren rounding midfield. He keeps it alive. The jersey grab. Went backwards. This time, the supporting players come with a side entry. Quick tap from Samoa. Sione. Back to Scanlon. Got a try in their earlier game. Now, finally, space on the outside for Maliko again. For the second time today, he gets his brace. Fantastic free flowing rugby from the Samoans, keeping the ball alive inside the tackles, making the Scotsman chase them around. Scotland just a little unfortunate with some ill advised pass over the last two passages, especially against these Islander teams. You've got to be very disciplined, making sure you're holding control of possession because they like to keep that ball alive and punish you when they get the ball. Samoa, two visits to the Scottish 22, two tries, 10 points to show for it. As the first half winds down. Yeah, Scotland want to catch this kickoff, get into their attacking framework, and go put five, seven points on the board before this half ends. Really flip the momentum of this game. Well, 64 full tests for his beloved Manu Samoa back in the day, and five Rugby World Cups. It's not much this man hasn't done in a rugby field. Again, possession for Samoa. They're going to finish on a high here. They've got ball in hand. They're shipping it out wide. Around the corner, can he stay in? Referee says yes, Steve Onasai. Great intensity from the Samoan team, capitalizing on Scottish mistakes. They are flying high today. Possession is king in sevens, and it all starts with the restart. Great little tap back, got people in place. Again, free-flowing rugby as the Samoans creating the 2v1. And then pace and power to burn. Just Jamie Farndell just didn't quite get his hands all the way on him. And a great try from Samoa in this corner to finish the first half. Great moment for the 20-year-old Steve Onasai. Only five foot seven in his fifth World Series event. Gets the try, the conversion. Again, sweetly struck, but just falls short. So that'll do it for the first half. Three unconverted tries for Samoa. They're up 15 points to nil over Scotland. Well, that gives us a chance to go sideline now for a very big moment for the Kenyan contingent. And Billy O is down there. Billy Odiambo, massive congratulations. Personally, firstly, 100 tries. Unbelievable. How does that feel, my friend? I think it, it's, it's a privilege uh, to reach the 100th mark. And uh, I think all, all credit, that's the easy part. All credit to, to my teammates. Yeah, they just credit to them, yeah. Let's talk about that one. Great one against England, and you're well supported by the Kenyan crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the energy is great. Uh, when in the States, we usually feel like we're at home. So, huge shout out to, to the fans who made their time to come and uh, support the boys. Massive, massive. Treat yourself, your family and friends must be proud. All the best the rest of the tournament, Billy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, great moment for him. He joins his current teammate, William Baca, and the amazing brothers, Humphrey Kayange and Collins and Jarrah, in the 100 Club for Kenya.
We're back in Los Angeles. Halftime here of Pool D action. The Samoans have been really sharp in the first one. Three tries for them. Scotland still looking for their first. Scotland get us underway. The ball's not gathered. This is an opportunity for the men in green. That is Scotland. Ross McCann. Good hard run from him. Good wit. Cheeky offload from Harvey Elms, keeping that alive. But it's the Samoans who are pushing that defensive line forward. Great line speed from them, taking the space away. And they've got their reward. Some 50 meters the Scots have backed up. Yeah, the discipline from the men in blue, the Samoan team is much better. Finally an opening on the outside. The sweeper to beat off the right foot goes Robbie Ferguson, but he's brought down 10 meters short, but he doesn't release the ball. Great stuff from Scotland. They have possession from the break, from the kickoff. Sometimes you gotta go backwards to go forwards. They created the opportunity, unfortunate. Just didn't release the ball when he was tackled. Had the, they had the opportunity to put Samoa to the sword. Yeah, frustration there for Ferguson. The first real inroads for Scotland. But there's a calm around the Samoan team. Zach, you played against them a few times in your career. They just, when they're good, they're very, very good. Oh, when they're on, they're on. And they manage the game very well. They know when to pick up the tempo. They know when to slow it down. They're very, very wise when it comes to game management. No medal for the Samoans since 2019 up in Vegas. A game you might remember here in the U.S. But now they're off and running into space. Goes Scanlon. Still going. Still weaving. Finally brought down. You can't get the offload. Great work from the Scottish in defense. They're looking for their first try. This one isn't over. Scotland needs something, though. They need to get on the board. Speculative pass goes to hand. Changing the angle. Off the bench, Callum Young. Still got it. Got his first try ever in the last game. Trying to get... Oh! It's going to be a yellow card because there's a hand in there. No, no. Surely it's a penalty try. Time's off. Time's off. He's listening to our referee, Cisco Lopez, here. Wait for him to get off. Not releasing the player on the ground, cynical. Are you guys ready? So, Jamie Farndale looked like he had a walk in, but he knocked the ball on. No, no, no. Penalty, yellow card. The penalty is and yellow card. It's for the cynical tackle, a professional foul, if you will. This game has got it all. End to end stuff, Final try saving tackles left and right. Blue 13. We thought Jamie Farndale was in for no, the score the there. All on the right, so yellow card. Put Samoa under pressure with four and a half minutes to go. Can Scotland get back in this game? Can they have a clinical set piece? Can they score quickly, get the ball back, and do it again? Well, they've had enough possession there, as you can see from our stats. But what a great opportunity for them to regroup. The Samoan fans have had a lot to cheer about, but things have just changed drastically. The men in blue will be one short. Sayoni in the bin for two minutes. Scotland. Fine. Need three scores. Set. Early push Early from the Samoans. Quick tap. Oh, he could have gone in himself, and he finally spotted it. <laughs> Thought he wasn't going to see. But behind him, there was nothing. Kalim Barreto. Important try for Scotland. He's slow to get up. Yeah, Barreto, what it was looking for space. Little dummy there. Took it to the took it to the line. Looks like. The goalpost that got kind of got the best of him. A great fight, great leg drive, finding, finding that try line, getting his his country over for their first score of the game. That's the momentum shift that they need in this second half. Well, his bravery is important by being that close to the post. He's made this conversion easier. And it is a seven-pointer, so England down eight. Still with a minute and a man advantage. We got the power play. Let's see what happens. There's one try already. See if they can get some more. They've got the ball. They come back for the original knock on. Still 40 seconds left on that yellow card. Scotland really wants to take advantage of their numbers advantage here. Put another try on the board. Have about two and a half minutes left to go and really 
continue the momentum time's that they've built here off. in the second half. It's been a great start for them in the second half here. Time is up. Time is up. And that minute has been absorbed. Samoa are back to full strength. Time's on. Coach. Fine. Scotland still just Shut. under three minutes to play. Standing up. The Simone standing up in the scrum. That's not allowed. Good wide ball. It was a nice idea giving Jordan Edmonds no a lead on it, but he's been pushed into touch. No Simone quick. want to go quickly. Jesco Lopez says, no, we're going to have any of that. It's been touched. What a chop tackle by Batavo. Quality, getting his foot in there, chop tackle right around the shits, pulling his defender out of bounds. Beautifully done. Textbook, that one. 26-year-old Matavo, one of the three captains. Look at that line, straight through. Totally committed to his line, and he's going to finish from 80 meters out. Or is he? He needs help. Fantastic team support play. That's Mutu Apatai off the bench. He was ready to run it in. Samoa resume with their fourth try. Yeah, Matavao just leaking through the middle of the Scottish defense. Didn't quite have the pace to finish, but Opatai was right there to support his teammate. Great little inline from Matavao. Look at the determination on his face. Recognize that he's going to get caught. Passes to his teammate selfishly. And another five points for Samoa. Well, just watch this celebration. That's the joy this team's playing with right now. A bit of a salute up to the fans. Yeah, it's a dangerous thing. Smiles on the faces of Samoans. Finally, a conversion to add to those four tries. This one looks to be out of reach from the Scottish. But they said with that one earlier win for them against their rivals, Tackle. England, they'll want to keep the points difference to a minimum. Tackle assist. Top eight teams, two from each pool, go through to the quarterfinals on the HSBC World Series. This is better running. Interplay. Oh, good work. How close are they? Matt Davidson's brought a spark off the bench. But they're just a meter short. That's an ugly ruck and a great counter ruck for Samoa. And the ball's deemed unplayable. That is never de die defense from the Samoan. Matt Davidson was slicing and dicing down that edge channel, but Samoa said, no dice, young man. We're going to cause this breakdown to go down, and we're going to get possession to end this game. Leitufia there, the 20-year-old, didn't quit on it. Time's off substitution, blue seven. Just 10 blue seconds seven. to go in this one. Wouldn't want to play against the coaching staff, let alone the Samoan team. Comes on. The chiropractor there on your Coach. right. Fine. Set. So these two wins are putting them in good stead here in Los Angeles. Pulling down in the scrum. Penalty at scrum time. That will allow the Samoans to get it off the field. And they do. Comprehensive performance in the end. The men in blue. Put up four tries against only one from Scotland. A second win from Samoa here in Los Angeles. They win this one, 22 points to seven.